Welcome to Mudan's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be doing something simple. In my conquest to becoming the perfect anime boy, I have mastered mahjong, and now I need to master cooking, because all the cute anime boys know how to cook some cute anime foods. Join with me on this journey where I try to make a pork cutlet, the most basic of anime foods, and see if I fail or succeed. My bet is I'm not gonna do that well. Either way, let me show you what I'm working with. I have a camera. We're really getting fancy over here. And I also have PC view, so you can see the recipe. It's supposed to take 15 minutes to prep and 30 minutes to cook. My bet is that I'm going to spend the next hour and a half doing this. So what's the challenge? I don't want to just make food. It needs to be something a bit more than average. So it has to look similar to it, but not only that, it has to taste okay. I count this as a success if I'm able to eat it until I'm full, but if it tastes like ass, then that's a fail from me. And if I fail, I'm gonna give a thousand bits to whoever you want. Let's just start now. I spent so much time setting up these cameras that I didn't have any time to actually, you know, look up what to do with the recipe. The only prep I've done is go into the store and get some stuff that I didn't have before and also some stuff I still don't have. So first off, boneless pork chops, salt, a blend of fine peppers, that's good enough, gluten-free flour, some eggs. Here, under the ingredients, it says uh, panko, but I am not sure what the hell is panko. I don't have panko, which is some for form of breadcrumbs. Instead of getting even the normal breadcrumbs, I've decided to go with the gluten-free bread that I'm going to toast myself and make it into breadcrumbs. So let's just start with it right now. Oh, it, and it's already crumbling. What else? Uh, dashi soup stock. I don't know what is dashi, but I just bought some regular soup stock. Wait, one and one quarter cups? Oh no, I messed up. What is soup stock? I thought these were like the cues for bullion. Oh no. Okay, so essentially it should be fine if I just uh, put like two of these in water. What else? Soy sauce. One ingredient is mirin, which is supposed to be rice sake. From what I know, it's like cooking sake. But thing is, we don't have mirin in Estonia. I mean, maybe somewhere, but not in our supermarkets. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy some sake. Thing is, I couldn't find any sake either. I'm just gonna go with uh, regular vodka, because what is sake if not uh, vodka made with rice? Sugar. I have powdered sugar, that's good enough. I have red onion, this should be the same. <laughs> Four cups of Japanese steamed rice. The basmati rice is rice. But I wonder if I should start uh, to set something up, like cook the rice already, because that's gonna take, what, like 20 minutes? Wait, what the f am I doing? No, not like this. If you don't know, I'm not a cook. I can make rice, technically, but I wanted to challenge myself. And this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Season the pounded pork chops with salt and pepper. Okay. I mean, it looks like they didn't hold back too much, so just... Bruh. Oh no, that seems a bit too much. Yeah, that seems a bit too much. Dust with a light, even coating of flour. That I can do. So just like... Oh my god. It, it should be fine. In one shallow bowl, beat one egg. Put the panko into another shallow bowl. Jesus. I've beaten eggs before. I've beaten a lot of stuff. What's next? Add a thin, even layer of oil to cast iron pan. This is a pan. It's made of iron. Let's check how this is going. Thin lay- oh shit, this is closed. Dip the flour dusted pork into the egg to coat both sides. Oh, now we're getting into the really culinary stuff. Was the egg? And... Oh, this is nice and crispy. Ah, I have some breadcrumbs and some eggs. I have to test this by throwing in a breadcrumb. And it's supposed to sizzle. Yeah, I think this isn't ready yet. How am I so dumb? Okay, into the egg. Good coating, good coating. Yeah, the bread is kind of But what can you- Oh no, it's so Oh, it should be fine. It's gonna be fine. Just believe in the heart of the meat. Oh my god, what have I done? It should be just smooth sailing from now. Unless the meat burns to a crisp, then it's bad. Oh shit. It said five to six minutes. The rice should be ready any second now. But where do I f***ing put it? Oh no. I feel it should have more oil, because this doesn't have any cooking on it. I'm not gonna die, right? I'm like 70% sure it's cooked through and that's good enough for me. Honestly, I get food poisoning 
So, so what? Do I don't die, right? Let me show you my uh, cutting skills. So let's just cut it. I mean, it looks cooked through. Doesn't look the best because of the bread. Live and learn or die from being food poisoned. Soup stock. Uh, kind of messed up with that too. Just soup cubes, water, and that's gonna be our broth, right? While that is working, we have to add soy sauce, mirin, and sugar to the soup and bring it to a boil. One third of a cup. Thankfully, I have this handy dandy measurer. It has cups in American style and in rest of the world style. Wait, one third is less than half. And finally, the secret ingredient, mirin. Two tablespoons of water. <sighs> Remove from heat. So once it starts boiling, okay. To cook one serving of katsudon, put one quarter of the soup and one quarter of the sliced onion in a small skillet. Skillet. A pan is just a cheaper skillet. Skillet is just for people who like to brag about being cooks. One medium onion thinly sliced. Sure thing. I for one dislike onions. I've never liked them. Maybe it's because I was fed them in food when I was a child. Maybe because I just don't like the taste. So I usually don't deal with onions, but in this case, I'm gonna make an exception because the recipe says so. Wait, that's not an onion? It's supposed to be a white onion. What's the difference between a white onion and a red onion? We here at Muran's channel don't see color. This is one quarter of the broth and one quarter of the onions. Add one serving of tonkatsu pieces to the pan and simmer on low heat for a few minutes. Half. Okay, I'm just gonna do uh, twice as much, which should fill the pan enough. This looks not correct. The onion should be becoming translucent. Oh, I don't think it should boil with uh, the meat on it. Beat one egg in a bowl, bring the soup to a boil and pour the egg over the tonkatsu and onion. Oh my god. Gonna put the egg in. Yeah, I just don't have anything to say. I mean, disappointed in life. This is like, like a shitty omelette now. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna do an anime drink. Let's do sake. One shot of uh, absolute sake. Should I drink soju? Paul, right now, because the sake was so bad. <coughs> We're all good. Let's combine the final two things. Oh my god. I'm starting to slowly regret the bit. A slight bit. Okay. Guys, we've made it. This recipe said it would take 50 minutes to prep, 30 minutes to cook, 45 minutes in total. It only took us an hour and 24 minutes. That's less than double what they said, and it's a win in my book. But second, the challenge was to make something that looks okay and tastes okay. It doesn't have to look the same, doesn't have to taste the same. It just has to be passable food. If it's anything less, then I'm gonna donate 1,000 bits to whoever you want. So, the file. I just looked at it. This is how it should look like. Nice pork cutlet bowl. This is how it looks like. Oh no, this is, this is the wrong camera angle. I mean, understandable that it doesn't look this good here. You need a top-down view. The original, my version. Original, my version. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't ever tried katsudon before, so I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad. I'm just gonna rate it by if I eat the entire thing if I'm hungry. Oh my god. So it was very intense in the beginning, but it kind of simmered down after I started eating rice. Good thing is, I didn't mess up the rice. The meat was... I think it's cooked. Like, I'm pretty sure. I think the broth was a bit too... too heavy. I mean, it's like... it's a solid 5 out of 10. Maybe low 5. Because I'm gonna finish this, but I probably wouldn't go for a second batch. It's not that good. It was a fun stream. Might do some cooking later on. Maybe higher level, level 2 cooking. I do want to do this desserts though. Thank you for stopping by, always fun having you, and see ya!